Yeah, hey, Baker, uh, the Browns have a winning record for the first time in, in six years uh, at 2 and one Can you speak to the significance of that in terms of this franchise taking steps in the right direction and then maybe what it means or could mean for the fans here that have gone through, you know, some tough times over the years? Uh, yeah, this, I mean, first and foremost, is a football town. Uh, they deserve to have a, a great franchise and a great team. Um, but we're, we're worried about right now. Um, like I said uh, before the season started, it, it's about building that culture, uh, bringing the right guys in and, you know, pushing this thing in the right direction, which is what we've been doing and what we're trying to do. But uh, we have to build on this momentum and, and keep going one game at a time. Mary Kay Cabot, you have our next question. Hey, Baker, can you just talk about uh, just how amazing it was for the defense to come up with uh, those five takeaways and uh, just how it just kept rolling along and then you guys did your part. So how was all that? Yeah, no, unbelievable job of the defense today, uh, taking the ball away. Um, you know, I thought we could have been offensively better in the first half, of, uh, just doing our job. But when the defense plays like that and, and they're able to get us great field position, we took advantage in the second half and uh, – uh, played complimentary football, but I, I thought up front we, we did great all game long, and, and I could have done better in that first half to keep the chains moving uh, and put us in a better position to uh, kind of run away with that game. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Nate Ulrich, your line should be open. Um, just for you guys to be so opportunistic and, and to capitalize off of the, uh, off the interceptions, three touchdowns off three interceptions, is that – like the epitome of complimentary football is that is that like the 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 thing that you're always striving for as as a team? Absolutely, um, yeah. Anytime your defense can take the ball away that many times, you you want to help them out. You want to feed off that energy, uh, and that's what we did in that second half. So, kudos to uh, our defensive guys for taking the ball away that many times. And then you uh, ended your interception streak, and. Uh, you know, that was important, obviously, and you guys won the turnover battle five to nothing. Um, Thanks, Nate. Do you <laughs> yeah. Do you, do, you thank, do you thank Odell for, for the assist on that? And, and, and is it nice to kind of have that weight off your shoulders, to have that clean game you've been seeking? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, always taking care of the ball is the first and foremost, the most important thing. But um, I, had, I could have played way better. Could have gotten the ball out, saved a couple of those sacks, I think. You know, like I said, protection was great. I just uh, could have re-ID'd one of those, the play where the intentional grounding happened, uh, and then uh, the first play come out where I uh, got sacked. It just some things that I can be a lot better on. But, yeah, a great job by Odell uh, knocking the ball down. Um, you know, just should have put that ball more outside, let him run under it. Uh, we're going to take our chances on those 50-50 balls with the guys like that. But, um, yeah, he did an unbelievable job knocking that one down. Tom Withers, you have our next question. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Baker, you guys were looking for some kind of a spark there in the third quarter when things weren't going well. And I think you hit Odell on that third and 12 on the rollout. How, how big a play was that just in terms of kind of getting some momentum back? That was huge. Um, two of our biggest conversions uh, came from Kareem just doing an unbelievable job. Uh, he, he picked up Lenny Collins on a safety pressure on that play, gave us a chance to get the ball into Odell's hands, uh, converted that one and went on one – later on to score on that drive, uh, which we, we really needed a spark, like you said. Uh, and then after that, you know, we're playing complimentary football. Hey, so Nick had one of those dirty runs early on with the, with the touchdown. What, what's that view like for you when you give it to him and you see that cut back, makes a couple guys miss and, and drags a few into the end zone? He's special to watch. Um, both of our guys are, but, you know, I just never want to take any of that for granted. Um, just we have – we special guys, and we got a great offensive linemen. So it's always fun to get back and watch. I got to continue to carry out my fake and kind of expand those holes. Scott Pet, your line is open. Hey, Baker, in the third quarter before the Odell catch on that, for that first down, you guys struggled, obviously. What was Washington do, doing that made it tough for you, um, or what should you guys have done better? Um, I held on to the ball, couldn't see uh, Harrison on a, a stick route, should have gotten the ball out, took a sack. Uh, it's completely on me, not protection. Uh, and then the intentional grounding one, I should have re-ID'd, um, you know, and, and put us in a better position to win on that play. And so that, that, that's completely on me. Uh, I'll, I'll take that blame and I'll get better and move on. Thanks. Tony Zarella, your line's open. 
Hey, Baker, you talk about those back-to-back -back series in the third, and then you guys start that long 11-play drive. I mean, you know you got to stick with your bread and butter, but is that difficult when you're trailing? No, I, I think when you're only trailing by a few points, you can stick to that stuff and continue to hammer the ball uh, and, and trust in it that it's going to open up eventually. So, yeah, it's a different story when you're down a little bit more, but um, when it's that close of a game, it doesn't matter. Back to Mary Kay Cabot. Um, yeah, Baker, specifically um, about Miles Garrett, you know, he came into this season uh, really super determined to set the tone on his side of the ball and make those kind of big, huge game changing plays. And for him to have the a strip sack at a crucial time for the second week in a row, what, what are you seeing and how great is that for you guys to get that out of him? Uh, big time players make big time plays. And we've seen that obviously, like you said, with Miles, uh, but, but the whole defense, you know, line got after him a little bit. Uh, forced him to throw the ball earlier into some, some zones where he didn't have time to go through his reads. And just defense played great. Uh, like we said, second half, they, they played unbelievable and allowed us to win that game. Thank you. Your last question, it's from Doug Lee Maurice. Baker, how do you continue to work through as an NFL quarterback wanting to make plays versus also wanting to protect the ball and a game like this where you get a win where the offense doesn't turn it over at all, how does that fit into that balance as a quarterback? Doing whatever it takes to win the game. Obviously, taking care of the ball. Um, you have percentages show way, way better chance to win the game. Um, but especially when our, when our defense is playing like that, we have a great punter uh, protecting that ball, taking check downs, playing the field position game, and playing that battle, and, and just trusting this team and this offense that we're going to chip away eventually and trusting our defense and special teams that we're going to give them great field position to, to play against and uh, uh, play complimentary football.